Hi, YouTube. Are you doing okay? I'm all right. I had a major headache when I woke up. I'm just on here telling you what's going on today. Not much. <laughs> I, I seem to do a lot of writing. I got a lot done like that. And um, I don't know if you've ever uh, taken, I took a stock of celery that I chopped up and used and then froze some. But you can take the little bit down by the root and put it in your garden and it's supposed to regrow a whole nother stock without having to use the seeds. So I just stuck it in a pot of dirt that I have outside. So I'm going to see how that does. And then transplanted some plants into bigger pots and yeah, like I said, I did a lot of writing too, but I had the weirdest dream. I literally woke up with the birds, but my dream was that there was these cutest little birds in my window, like little um, uh, blue ones about like yay big, just tiny, you know, no bigger than a, like a dragonfly. And some of them were itty bitty like little sparrows. But they were mixed in with a bunch of flies, and I woke up in my dream or nightmare. I was swatting the flies because some of the flies were about as big as some of the tiny birds. So I woke up trying to miss all the birds as I was trying to get the flies out of the window. It's like, it was freaking crazy. And I literally woke up looking at my window, um, worried for the birds. <laughs> so, yeah, I was... But that might have had a lot to do with, um, excuse me a minute, a uh, day before yesterday, I had a morning dove hit the house. It miscalculated, and um, I don't know if it's because of old age or if it was young or who, God knows what. But I was worried for them, and I knew there was a pair in the yard and sometimes more, but um, there was four of them yesterday, so... I'm a, and they showed themselves all to me, which was really good because I had only seen one like the day after it happened. So um, I was happy to see four of them. So, yeah, because, you know, you get to know them and they're like your friends. And I put out food and they, they appreciate it. So, yeah, they're my friends. <laughs> all the animals in my yard. So, yeah. But, so, I don't know, not a whole lot going on today. I got that silly song stuck in my head. In fact, last week when I was telling Doug about it, um, I said, uh, I know a Robin song that Steve could have sang. And then I said, um, sang part of it to him. I go, do you remember that? And he's like, yeah, that's an old one. Well, neither one of us were even born when it was made, you know. So, but, uh. Yeah, so singing it this morning got that stuck in my head. <laughs> so, anyway, but yeah, I I um had a robin in my room when I was a kid. It had a broken wing, and I kept it all winter long and took care of it, and then let it go. And it was really kind of mad at me when I took it back right to where I got it from too, uh, about a half a block away from where I grew up, by a big oak tree and looked back at me like real snotty like yeah I don't like you anymore either you know really and I go well just fly to see if you're gonna do it or not and he flew up onto a limb and he looked at me really snotty again and then took off and I thought well that's gratitude for you <laughs> you know, little creep <laughs> you know but it was good good thing Because if he got too used to people, too, then somebody like with a cat or a dog might be able to get him or, you know, stuff like that. So I try not to get too close to the animals. I used to call chickmunks. I've got pictures of them coming up and eating right out of my hand. They climb right up on it. But um, my stepdaughter took some pictures of ones I called um, chip, monkey, peanut, and chipper. And they'd all come up on the steps and eat it right out of my hand. But see, they carry fleas, too, and different diseases. So you really don't want all them little animals around. So, yeah. But, you know, with my other animals um, right out in the same area, 
it's better to have them further away from your house than close to it. So, yeah. But, so that's really about it. What's going on today? I don't know. Maybe I'll think of more to talk about, but <laughs> yeah. Mended a couple of fences with some friends and um, that's a bit, and met some new friends and have some new friends online on Facebook and it's all good. Um, let's see what else is going on. Hmm. I think a lot of my headache was I stayed up really late um, and then uh, watching videos and then got up sort of early and also I ate peanut butter and I shouldn't have but I had it on my sourdough bread my toast so tonight it's definitely steak and salad so that's two things I can well depending on what's in the salad but you know they're, they're basically kind of safe <laughs> so yeah uh, anyway uh, I don't know I actually haven't uh, watched a lot of like media or anything. Oh, that one news station online I was trying to think of was um, One America Network. O A N. And they just straight up give you the news, like no baloney, no talk show business, like, um, like, um, what Oprah did today, who gives a flip, you know, um, that type of thing. It's like, no, just the news if you, and so I see the headlines coming through on my feed and that's, you know, usually good enough. And then if there's something that I'm interested in, I can click on it, you know, or not take it or leave it, you know, so. Yeah. Do any of you out there like to sing? I bet everybody does, huh? Most people? I don't know. I know a couple people that don't like to dance or sing or, you know, and then I know some people that like to sing but not dance. I don't know. I just love music. I love playing it. I love hearing it. Although when I wasn't feeling good, I did go through my moments where I really didn't want to hear any of it. I just couldn't deal with it. It's like it was enough to have to um, keep clean and feed myself if you've ever been that sick, you know, like deathbed sick type, you know. So, yeah. And then I know a lot of people think, well, cigarettes cause cancer and emphysema. They may cause that. It doesn't mean they definitely are going to. You see what I mean? But I'm not advocating it. I'm not saying that people should just smoke and not think nothing of it. You know. But um, I'm just myself strong. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know. I enjoy it. I might quit someday, I don't know. I considered it last week, but it wasn't the time. If it is, it will be. And I've been smoking on and off since I was five. So, yeah, and drinking when I was five, whiskey, thanks to the Masons that raised me. So, yeah, I got away from all the baloney in my life, but I still enjoy my cigarettes. Yeah, it's not good to get kids inebriated, <laughs> you know, really. And I found myself, uh, of course, I started running away and they wanted to give me drugs and I don't know if they put it in my food to keep me from being as hyper as I usually am. And um, I'm just active, you know, normally. I've been a little tired lately, that's for sure. But um. I think they did give me something because after I left there, it's like uh, the whole world opened up to me. Like everything was more colorful and um, and this is sober. This is just, you know, 
12 was the first time I took off, but um, in between 12 and 17, I ran away 21 times. But anyway, um, but whenever I was away from the Masons, my health was better. So, yeah, it makes a difference. So I think they were doing something to me. And my energy level went up, all kinds of things. My, my health, I mean, as far as my eating habits and everything, um, everything changed when I left. You know, so they were big um, fried food. Oh, gross. I still, the memories of it. In fact, going past my, or being with people eating french fries used to make me ill. Now I like them, or potato chips, that type of thing. But I didn't know I was allergic to potatoes. That might have had something to do with it, too. But I crave them now every once in a while. But once a year, I get in a potato mood, like, um, like I've been thinking scalloped potatoes, you know, are, they're good, you know, are a gratin or something like that. So, but in fact, I like mashed potatoes a real lot. <laughs> but anyway, back to the fried foods. So. I like fried chicken, but I'd rather have it roasted if it's a real good roasted chicken. So, yeah. Oh, man. But that's probably about it for tonight. I I am a little bushed. Um, I need to get get um supper done earlier tonight than I usually do. It's usually after dark which isn't usually a big deal, but I want to get some sleep. As you can see, I, I need it. I look like a raccoon. But um, I'm not one for makeup. I am what I am, whatever. <laughs> you know, I used to wear it. I just don't, you know. I think to me, um, just personally, I think it's disgusting when older women put all that gob crap on and dye their hair and all that. It's like, ooh, whatever. I'm a grandma. It doesn't matter. I don't need to look like I'm 20 because I don't want to act like I'm 20. I just want to get this life sentence over with. <laughs> you know? so. Okay, everybody, thank you for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful evening, night, day, wherever you're at. And um, thanks again. Peace and love from Pine City, Minnesota, USA.